What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, has the Pixel 6 been dethroned? Look, I gotta tell you, after this update gate or update debacle that has been in the last several months of the Google Pixel 6, I was talking with Tech Odyssey or Adam from this other channel, and I'll leave a link in the description below or a card up here to his channel. He has become the Pixel 6 guru update master, and him and I were having a conversation about how it might just be that the Pixel 6 has been dethroned by the likes of Samsung. And so let's talk about that. Before the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro update debacle, Google was known for putting out updates with the regularity, including Pixel feature drops and things of that nature. Honestly, since November of 2021, Google's been on some shaky ground, and that is right when Samsung slid right in and started part like pounding the updates as it relates to One UI 4, all the Android 12 updates, and starting to see just a crazy amount of just regular scheduled updates from Samsung, and it might actually be stealing some of the market share from the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, because honestly, Google was already on shaky ground as it was because they just don't market their phones the same way that Samsung markets it's theirs. And by Google actually now admitting in December that the update was just not the way that it should have been from the Pixel feature drop all the way back in December, yeah, it started to sow some doubts into the minds of others and these individuals not being able to make phone calls, not getting good 5G connectivity, not getting actually good Wi-Fi, in some instances removing features like the call screening feature. All things that were supposed to set the Pixel at or above some of the other Android devices, they started to take a step backwards. And that's really started when Samsung jumped in and was like, nah, that's okay. I'm gonna come right in and give regular updates. I'm gonna update all my devices to Android 12. And so you can start to see with a lot of regularity that Samsung is just pounding the updates and really starting to put Google to shame. So this is where I have to start asking the question, is Google being dethroned and the answer might be yes, because these other Android manufacturers are starting to put out regular updates because that's what the consumer is expecting. So one thing that Google did and did really, really well was really just to start to tell all these other manufacturers like, hey, look, these consumers are expecting regular security updates, regular feature drops, regular OS updates to what already exists in their ecosystem. So they're already there, but now Google, that whole playbook that Google had about really being consumer focused and all this other jazz other manufacturers are taking that as a playbook as well and starting to provide those regular updates so i have to wonder has google kind of given their playbook away to show these other android manufacturers that they can provide timely updates as well meeting the consumer's needs which is great from a consumer perspective, but bad if you're a Google perspective, because quite honestly, uh, you what's the purpose of buying a Pixel if you're not gonna get regular updates? Or if I'm gonna get regular updates on other Android manufacturers and I have no specific Pixel feature drops or anything like that, what would be the point of buying a Pixel if that's the particular case? And that's another thing that I tend to worry about being dethroned is the idea of what am I getting specifically if I'm buying a Pixel versus buying another Android from say one plus Samsung or Sony or something of that nature. We'll take Sony out of it. Sony's kind of a mess right now as it relates to getting a phone inside the US within nine months of it actually releasing, but I digress, that's not the point. But think about it from this perspective. If I have certain features that I'm expecting from a Google perspective that are turned off because of an update that just didn't seem to work versus an Android device from say Samsung that happens to have Android 12, just like that of the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, happens to have a lot of the same features that they already have or don't even have available on the Pixel 6. Why exactly would I go out and buy one? I could buy a Samsung device that's relatively the same price of a Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro with the S21 FE edition, or I can actually go get an S21 Ultra for markedly less price now because it's gonna be a year older now that the S22 Ultra is gonna be coming out. But I have to start asking a lot of these questions and I'm the Google Pixel guy. So like from my perspective, I'm really worried about the fact that Google might be dethroned as it relates to being the update and Pixel specific features. Now what Google has to do in my personal opinion is write the ship from regular standard updates again. And again, specific Pixel feature drops that really stand above and beyond the other Android devices that are regularly out there. Give me those specific 
specific feature drops, but give me those with some sort of regularity so I know that I'm always going to have the best and the brightest and I don't have to worry about something like a December debacle of an update happen from time to time. But I really wanna hear from you. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you believe that the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro has been dethroned as it relates to regular scheduled updates from Google? So that's it, that's all I have. Thanks for watching and as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.